Welcome to Amazon Wellness, everyone. It's 25th of December, so happy holiday. Today we are making a cocktail which is a twist on the classic holiday cocktail, the eggnog. This one is called creme de la creme and it's alcohol-free and vegan-friendly. I'm gonna take you through the ingredients that we're using. We are using Sidlip Spice 94. We've got loads of like really warm spices and a beautiful bright citrus finish. We'll be using aquafaba, which will replace the egg whites, as well as some delicious maple syrup, some coconut cream and some coconut milk, and then loads of different spices. I'll take you through that later. So let's make it. So for this cocktail, there's two different options. You can either serve it cold and you will use your shaker, shake it quickly and then serve it over ice. Or like we are going to do today, to serve it warm, which is really nice for the holiday season. So you will mix all the ingredients in the pan and then put it on the stove, simmer it so it doesn't boil and it's nice and cozy for your holiday season cocktail. So we're gonna start with Sidlip Spice 94. Again, that's gonna give some like character and some botanicals into the cocktail. Loads of different spices and really citrusy, which is really nice. I'm gonna be using a cup to make the recipe just because I'm making two serve. And also this is a small cup, but if you were making it for, for example, like four people, you can use a small mug or something like that. It's just easier than using the jigger. So I'm gonna do one and a half cup of Sidlip Spice 94 directly into my pan. Then I'm gonna put three cups of a mix of coconut milk and coconut cream. Half of a cup of maple syrup. Again, you can use as much or as little as you want to sweeten it to your taste. And then aquafaba. So this is where the magic happen. Instead of using egg, um, for all the wonderful vegan um, out there, I'm using aquafaba, which will replace the egg whites. And then I'm gonna add loads of different spices. So half of them, Vanilla pods. I'm gonna add three cinnamon stick, a spoon, a teaspoon of grinded nutmegs, and then some dehydrated oranges. I'm using dehydrated because it has the beautiful citrus notes, but also the more warm and wintry caramelized flavor. All right, so now you have all your ingredients in your pan. Um, I just put it on medium temperature and you just want to simmer it. So you really don't want to boil the, the mix, otherwise it will kind of change the flavor of your cocktail. So you just want to simmer it. And then when it's warm and all well mixed together, it's ready to be served. All right, so now it's nice and warm. Um, it smells amazing, which is great. When you make this cocktail, your entire house will smell like the holiday season. I'm going to be using this glassware. You sort of want a short glass. And also this one is really like on theme and very festive. What you want to do is to pour, um, avoiding putting any of like the, the garnishes. I mean, if it goes in, it's totally fine, but you kind of want your cocktail to be just a cocktail. And voila, so this is your creme de la creme. Um, you can use a garnish if you want to. You could do dehydrated orange, you can do cinnamon. Um, I like to serve it just like this because I think it's a beautiful color. And if you serve it in a glass that is as pretty as this one, I don't think it needs a garnish. Um, the garnish doesn't do anything to the cocktail. But let's have a test. Delicious. So it's nice, it's rich, it's warm. The spices are amazing. Nutmeg, cinnamon works so well together. The vanilla is beautiful. And then the really bright orange notes from um, the dehydrated orange. And then obviously Sidlip adds some complexity into the cocktail. The maple syrup makes it really like nicely sweetened. And then the aquafaba give the texture to the cocktail, but also a great alternative to make it vegan friendly. So that's it. This is your creme de la creme. Santé.